everyone in this video we are going to discuss about introduction to business central we are going to talk completely about business central why we need this and what are the benefits of doing this and also business central in the developers perspective <music> Let's start. I'm Dr. Gomati. I'll be telling you what is a business central here. So business central is an integrated set of business application designed to service a wide variety of business operations. And it simply to say this is an ERP system. ERP means enterprise resource planning system. So an ERP system integrates internal and external data across a wide variety of functional areas. So what are the functional areas? So those areas include manufacturing, accounting, supply chain management, customer relations, customer relationship, service operations, HRM, other and other value resources and activities. So apart from this, Microsoft is offering various business related activities and business related um, important thing through business central for us as it is a ERP system. So ERP means and what is the speciality in business central is what it is and enter data once and you can use it many ways and many ways uh, through the information processing tool sets. That is what the speciality of a business central. So business central has a various um, uh, various processing as we discussed in the uh, in terms of uh, functionalities. So if you see accounting, okay. So in accounting, uh, general ledger, accounts payable and accounts receivable. So we can accomplish these things through business central. And if you uh, take like order processing and inventory, we can go ahead with the sales orders, purchase orders, shipping, inventory and receive. Uh, receiving that relationship management uh, for example like vendors customers prospectors and uh, contractors employees so all these things we can uh, we can maintain and uh, planning in the sense MRP sales forecasting production forecasting and other critical business areas so what other uh, value resources and business areas like manufacturing warehouse management marketing cash marketing management, cash management, and fixes, fixed assets. So a good ERP system like Business Central is a modular in design. Modules in the sense what it will be of module. So uh, one module will be completely dedicating for accounting. One module will be com completely dedicating for sales like that. So it is a modular management which is used to simplify the implementation, modification, upgradation, and integration with a third party products and expansion for a different type of clients. So that is why mostly we are moving towards business central. Okay, so uh, uh, we can easily search with a simple menu structure in the business central which is offered to us. And the important thing which we have to understand in business central is what we have various functional areas here in business central like finance management, supply chain management, manufacturing, project management, relationship management, business intelligence, reporting and HRM. We will going to talk about these everything in detail. Before that, I just wanted to show you that business central tailored UI. UI means user interface. So what are the various aspects which we can access business central and what are the uh, various uh, role tailored client we have in business central. So one is the windows. You can we can use it in a windows like on like we can download the business central admin and use it in the windows itself web interaction we can even use online we can use it in the tablet and also we can use it in the phone client so these are all the various this we call it as a role tailored client okay so role tailored client uh, that is they are giving providing as a user interface in these four mediums so let us just proceed with the uh, business central, which is made up of these things. So let us first understand what is a financial management. So at the foundation of the ERP system, we can see this is a financial management because any business, okay, that is managing finance is what the core of any business. So 
irrespective of the business the money must be kept flowing with a track of it so business interest financial management module contains the tool that help to manage and uh, help to manage the capital resources of the business okay so these include all are part of the whole application so if you want to manage your finance you have to just manage many um, uh, account related one like general ledger okay which is used to manage the overall finance of the firm if you talk about general ledger okay gl and next one is the cash management and banking banking which is for managing the inventory of a financial asset next is like accounts payable for tracking the outgoing funds accounts receivable to track the incoming revenue analytical accounting this is for analyzing the various flows of fund multi currency and multilingual for supporting interaction and international business activities inventory and fixed assets for managing inventories for goods and equipments so all these things we can do it with the finance management this particular module okay as i told everything is made up of a module so we can accomplish through business management module so next comes the supply chain management which is what scm so some of the function that are categorized as a part of business central supply chain management such as sales and purchasing which are actively used in almost every business central implementation so the supply chain application in business central includes all or part of the applications like sales order processing and pricing purchasing warehouse management and inventory management so in scm you can see that this is sales and purchase that is sales purchase warehouse management and inventory okay so uh, if you take sales order processing and pricing that is to support every business that is that is heart of the every business so it has to be supported next one is purchasing that is for planning entering um, uh, and uh, processing purchase orders everything and if you take warehouse management it includes receiving and shipping for managing the receipt retrieval the shipment of the material storage everything and if you take inventory management this is for managing inventories of goods and materials so you can uh, understand that this is as a whole this is what very important for every business so let us go to the next one which is what the manufacturing business central manufacturing is a general purpose to the appropriate for make to stock that is mts we usually call it as an mts okay make to stock make to order and assemble to order as well as various subset and combination of those things okay so uh, what are the functions which are uh, uh, which can be handled using this manufacturing module is what product design production scheduling capacity and supply requirement planning so these three things we can definitely use it in the manufacturing part so product design like uh, to it is used to structure management of product components and the flow management of manufacturing processes production scheduling for execution and tracking quantities and cost and also it is used to uh, track manufacturing resources um, both on the constrained and unconstrained basis capacity and supply chain requirement for tracking the intangible and tangible manufacturing resources so the next one is what other project management if you just see a uh, project management this uh, is an another module uh, which is specifically consist of the job functionality that is supported by the research functionality so the project management uh, can be a short or a long term management so they can be external that is uh, uh, billable or internal okay internal project it might be the internal project so what are the various applications areas which this module is specifically used is what budgeting and cost tracking so through project management you can do budgeting and cost uh, cost tracking scheduling and planning project activities resource requirements and usage tracking project accounting and tracking the results okay these are all possible with the project management the next one is what the resource management business central resource management module is uh, is like fully featured standalone microsoft crm system 
ओके द कस्टमर रिलेशनशिप मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एंड डायनामिक्स थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव फॉर सेल्स एंड डायनामिक्स थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव फॉर मार्केटिंग सो हियर इट फॉलोज अ स्पेसिफिक टू फंक्शनलिटीज ओन इज अ रिलेशनशिप मैनेजमेंट एंड सर्विस मैनेजमेंट सो रिलेशनशिप मैनेजमेंट इन द सेंस फॉर मार्केटिंग कैंपेन कस्टमर एक्टिविटी ट्रैकिंग एंड टू डू लिस्ट ओके under relationship management we have three things that is marketing campaign that is to plan and manage the promotion the second one is customer activity tracking to analyze customer orders the third one is to do list which is used to manage what is to be done and also to track what has been done the next one is the service management this is a service contracts which is used to support the service operation the second one is the labor and part consumption tracking the third one is the planning and dispatching this can be done with a relationship management uh, module and the, this is what very important that is a business intelligence and a rep, business intelligence and also reporting this together okay because business intelligence if you see uh it uh, like it is a it is a block within a business central module which is difficult to physically identify as much for example if you have the data if you want to forecast some data from that you definitely need a business intelligence you cannot do it by yourself like manually though if you do it manually it cannot be 100% sure accurate okay so most of the components that are used for bi and reporting purposes are scattered throughout various application menu so you can find business intelligence for finance for scm so we have you can use this business intelligence and reporting for various other modules as well okay so uh, these business intelligence uh, bi supports it is main specifically used for standard reporting account schedules and analysis reporting query you can query and uh, find it analysis by dimensions you can just analyze based on the embedded capability and interfaces into the microsoft office microsoft office 365 rdlc report you can generate an rdlc report and a word report so that is what i told uh, you can embed with the microsoft 365 okay so this is all about a uh, reporting and business management and finally to talk human resource management this is actually a very small module but it really relates to a critical component of any business because employees are very important for any business okay so basic employee data can be stored and reported via the master table that is uh, it's in fact it's a fact like table uh, to manage the data about individual contractors in uh, addition to the employees so we have a wide variety of individual employee attributes which can be tracked by the dimension fields for example employee tracking skills inventory employee statistics absence tracking so all these things can be done with the human resource um, management module so uh, as so far we have seen that these are all business central main modules so as a developer because we are going to uh, create codes in a business central so as a developer okay we must cons- we uh, we have to think about the business central in our view so which uh, i which consist of about almost 6000 potentially customizable off the shelf um program objects okay so we have nearly 6000 potentially customizable off the shelf program objects we have ide which is integrated development environment uh that is a visual studio code to code uh, in the business central so we'll be doing all the code using a visual uh, studio code which is used to al- which is allow us to modify the existing object existing object means microsoft has already created few objects we will talk about objects in the next video okay that objects were already created by microsoft we can modify that and also we can create our own uh, new objects using this visual studio code so these what are these objects okay so that is what i told we have various objects so what are these objects first one is a table so of course we all know table uh, used to define a data structure and to contain the data records and we have table extension that is as i told microsoft has its own um, uh, objects which is already created which is called a table if we want to extend the table we can also extend it and use it for our purpose next is a page 
pages are the way uh, uh, data is formatted and it is displayed appropriately for each of the client type and user roles and next one is the page extension as we as i told already microsoft has created its own pages as well we can e extend that page existing page and add to us page customization allows controls in existing pages to be modified and moved okay like we can customize the page next one is the report reports are provided for the display of data that is at the end once we have generated all these thing we have to produce that as a report as a hard copy format or on on screen okay so report objects can also be updated we can also update the data in the process without without any data to be displayed so these all are objects okay we call it as an objects in al that is we call it as an object in bc next one is the code unit code unit or containers for a code that's been utilized by other objects it's like a container a block of code you will be writing code units are always structured in code segments called procedures so we we usually as a developer we come across procedures right for procedures so that is what code unit next one is a query query support extracting data from one or more tables we can calculate we can uh, uh, make it as an output for the uh, form we can create a new data structure so query is like a sql query okay like it is not exactly the same syntax but uh, whatever we have we are doing in the sql we can do that it's a query next is an xml port xml port allow for the importing and exporting of a data to or from the external files files so the external file structure can be xml or other file formats any other format but simply we are just telling xml port because we are going to import and export from a web browser or the business central right so that that is why it is showing it a xml port next one is the profile profiles allow the definition of the role centers and group page customization that is what we call it as a profile this is to customize okay and uh, next one, last one is what the control addons so control addons uh, addons object allows us to display html5 visualization based on data from business central okay so these objects can be sent back um send back the events that can be used to trigger additional code so we are going to see all these objects in detail so uh, i have already released a video uh, that is to download and install visual studio code as we discussed visual studio code is where we can uh, model uh, that modulate the existing object or create a new object so for that you need visual studio in order to code and see our code which is working in business central we need visual studio code so please download this visual studio code and i have also shown it is not like simply downloading and directly using you have to set up the sandbox if you are using your organization's account so all these things has to be done so please uh, click uh, click this um, link that is in the youtube you can just click and find how to install and download vs code or else i have given the same link in the description you can find and start downloading it start uh, configuring it so in the next session we will discuss about the table object okay we will discuss first we will discuss about what are all the uh, object system elements so here we have various object so for every object we have a separate elements into it what are the elements we have and from there we will start with the table object okay hope you like this video please share it with everyone who might be um, uh, benefited out of it and if you have any queries please leave it in the comment take care stay safe bye bye